Hello, my name is Juan. I'm with Dake Corporation. Today we're going to show you the model number DLN 6200 sheet metal notcher. This is the smaller version of the bigger brother, the DLN 6220. Uh, so we're going to unwrap this, get this set up, show you how it works. So your machine will come in a crate. And what we did, we cut it off with a saw, we took the crate off. We then used the fork truck to put it in position. Now you could use a fork truck or a hoist. Whatever is best for you, just make sure you're doing it safely. Next, you'll want to locate the owner's manual. You'll want to review, follow, and understand everything before setting up your machine. You'll also find this bag of parts that comes with a wrench, thickness gauge for adjusting the blade gap, and a lifting eye for transport of the machine. Your machine will come with a protective rust inhibitor that will need to be cleaned off before use. Uh, we will use WD-40 to clean ours off. So before cleaning the table, we are going to remove this top cover by taking off the two screws up top and one in the back. We've also removed the guides. Now that's a great looking table. When you're cleaning your machine, you want to make sure you leave the grease on these movable parts because this head does travel up and down. This machine comes with a heavy duty four horsepower motor and is wired standard 220 volt three phase power. With the cover off this machine, you'll notice this limit switch. The switch prevents the machine from being run while the cover's off. So in order to get to our hydraulic fluid reservoir, we need to remove this front cover. This cover is held by six button head cap screws, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and set it off to the side. So you'll see we have a hydraulic fluid reservoir. It holds approximately five gallons. Also comes with this filter and the cap to put on once it's full. So we've uh, filled up the hydraulic oil tank to approximately five gallons. You want to make sure that's completely full before you start out the machine. Otherwise, you may not get enough pressure built. We went ahead and lifted the machine off the pallet using a forklift and chain method. Um, you could use a hoist or straps, whatever works for you. Uh, but before we start this machine, we want to cover some safety precautions. You should always wear safety glasses when handling metals and working with this machine. Same thing as gloves um, in one quick thing you have to make sure the cover is on at all times. We are going to take the cover off for demonstration purposes, but please make sure you operate the machine with the cover on. Okay, let's fire up the machine now. First thing you want to do is make sure the e-stop on the foot pedal is off. You want to come around to the front here, turn the key on. You see the light that tells you it's ready to go, then hit the start button. Okay, to make a notch, you want to put your foot right on the foot pedal switch to activate the blades. Once the blades travel its maximum stroke, release your foot and the blades will go back up. You could potentially reach 15 strokes per minute. Okay, now let's get ready to see this machine in action. So we moved our hold down blocks to the forward position. This just ensures your stock is secure while notching. Wow, look at these notches, very clean. Now this is the DLN 6200 sheet metal notcher. This is a fixed angle. We also have a DLN 6220, which is a variable angle notcher. For more information, please visit us on our website at www.datecorp.com or call us anytime.